what has been the dynamic between building the business, but then also building your family? Yeah. Um, you know, they're kind of similar in some ways. Um, it's been, it's been, it's definitely been a learning process too. I mean, all of this has been happening at the same time. Uh, like Grace, my oldest, she's four. She was born, she was six months old, like when COVID hit, you know, so basically um, about a year old when Upspace Incorporated. Um, since then we had James, who's about to turn two. So been kind of learning how to be a dad at the same time, so, you know, learning how to, to be a CEO. Um, and definitely have made a lot of mistakes along the way. Um, the good part about being a founder is I can kind of dictate my, my routine, you know, my schedule. Um, and I know what's important to me and, uh, I just, I, I'm able to put those things first, you know? Um, so time in the morning, like basically breakfast time and then dinner time, almost always together. Um, just because it's, it's very important to me that, that, that I'm there for that, um, to be with them and then to help Kelly, you know, she, when, when Upspace started, she was working and then she quit kind of because partly because she wanted to, you know, she's always wanted to be home. Um, but also to give me more time with Upspace. Um, when she, when we were both working, like one of us had to do drop off, one of us had to do pick up. Um, and it was very disruptive to like the work day. Um, so she, you know, even though she wanted to, it was also a sacrifice um, because being home with them, raising two kids is hard. Um, I know that it's definitely harder than what I do. Mm. Um, I can tell, you can see it. So, you know, grateful for that. Um, but yeah, they're similar. Um, and it's been challenging trying to figure out how to mesh everything together, mix everything together. Um, but I think... Uh, you just got to stick with what's important. You know, like I said, like I know the things that are important to me and they, they come first, um, above, you know, before everything else. And so far it's, it's been a pretty good formula. What are the factors that go into having a flourishing relationship like that? Cause I know it can't be easy at all times when you are trying to build this business Kelly's home with the kids and the dog. Also, you know, she's pregnant. And you guys are just, what I admire about you guys is just like you always make it work. And I admire how intentional you are with everything you do. What do you think has been the biggest f key factors for you and her to just build this thriving relationship? Yeah, I think the number one thing is really just empathy, you know, to put a word to it. Um, just understanding what the other person's going through, what their day was like or could have been like, um, what their week's like, what they have to handle. Um, and I'm not, definitely not perfect, you know, for sure. Um, make mistakes along the way. But you know, if you're going to get mad about something or if I'm frustrated because I had to come home early or I f it felt early, you know, and I wanted to finish something, um, just, it's literally just taking half a second and just thinking about what her day was like. Um, and like, even if she had a great day with the kids, it's still tiring, you know, it's still very tiring. Um, she's kind of ready to move on to the next phase of, starting either starting dinner or shutting it down, getting ready for bed. Like, you know, um, so just, just stepping back and thinking about it from her, you know, from her perspective a little bit. Um, and then just kind of giving, giving grace and giving her the benefit of the doubt. Um, instead of, I think it's funny, like we have a tendency to hold 
our own family to like higher standards than we would strangers, you know, and like doubt their intentions more than we would strangers, which is like totally backwards. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, but it just comes with, you know, being part of a family. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so reversing that and just giving her the benefit of the doubt all the time instead of like planting these seeds in your mind, like, Oh, that was, you know, um, that was intentional or she's being, she's just being lazy or whatever it is, mm -hmm. you know, always giving her the benefit of the doubt, which I, I'm not saying I'm perfect at that either. Um, but those two things, you know, empathy and benefit of the doubt mm -hmm. definitely will take you very far. Mm -hmm.